So iOS 14 ruined everyone's lives and made tracking super difficult from Facebook and third parties. But luckily, ClickBank's got a solution so you can tie together your Facebook Pixel ID and your ClickBank account and make sure the data's flowing correctly. Let's dive in. Okay, just some items of note here. There's gonna be some things you need to have set up in your Facebook account first, in your ad accounts first, before you can actually tie everything in together. Um, I'll kind of mention what those are, but we're not gonna go into the weeds on those too much, just because who knows what Facebook might change. So I'll speak to more of what we control on ClickBank and what you need to get out of your Facebook account and plug into your ClickBank account and where to find that stuff. So to start off with, we're here in the ClickBank knowledge base in the integrated sales reporting tab. From here, the Facebook conversions API, the C API is the new way we're connecting Facebook conversions and ClickBank conversions, making sure that Facebook can see it. And to be candid, um, the iOS 14 update and Facebook subsequent updates has actually made our Facebook tracking better than it used to be. Before, we could only load a pixel on the ClickBank order form and the confirmation page at the end of the funnel, which made a lot of gaps on like upsell pages and made affiliates need vendors to place their pixels on upsell pages and things like that. Um, now, since we're using the conversions API, we're firing confirmation and purchase events for every single action, right? Whether it's a pixel load on the order form, whether it's an upsell take or initial take, um, everything like that. So you can get a full funnel scope of what's happening without relying on the vendor having to place your pixel or if you're a vendor running your own traffic needing to kind of place a pixel on every page. The um, API is connecting and transferring all that data first. So to dive in here, we're going to walk you through again kind of what to grab out of Facebook and where to put it in. And we'll leave a link to this knowledge base article in the description below of this video. Um, but again, we don't control what Facebook is doing on their side, so we can't really speak to where to find all the stuff all the time. We've just linked out to the specific portions of Facebook's items here. So first off, um, we sort on the Facebook Pixel section. I know I need to get the Pixel ID, the um, account token, and the event URL that's re um, registered with Facebook, my ad account or business account. Um, so look, I've already done all this back end setup. I've put the chicken in the oven, so to speak. It's done cooking. I just need to tie this all together now. When I go to my ClickBank account, when I go to my nickname level access, um, you want to go to vendor settings and then my site in this tab here. You won't see this blue section, but you scroll down to integrated sales reporting and you'll click on add tracking code here. Now you want to choose the type. This is Facebook Pixel, add. Uh, you wanna track as a vendor if you're a product owner or as an affiliate, or you can track for both, or excuse me, you'll set up one for each if you wanna track for both. I'll set this up as an affiliate. Um, and now this is where I need to go get those items from Facebook. So in your business settings, you wanna go and get your um, Pixel ID. We'll gray this out for obvious reasons for my privacy, but um, you wanna copy this to, the clip, to your clipboard up here paste it into this section for pixel ID. For the access token, same thing out of your events manager. Um, you wanna find your uh, API token access. You wanna put that into, oh, excuse me, into your access token section here. And then the events URL, this needs to be HTTPS version. This is the domain that's associated with your business manager that you should have already verified through Facebook. So this is the same domain there, so. This is my site that's registered there. And I wanna fire on both confirmation order forms. But again, this is gonna fire for every purchase type too throughout the funnel, whether it's upsell takes. And I'll save it. And that is it, right? Um, I will activate it. So you scroll back down and push a little play button so it's active. You should see that green box in your ClickBank account that it's active. Now some items of note here. Um, this can take up to a day for data to start populating. We're sending it off in almost real time with API, but just the integration with ClickBank to Facebook. Facebook's not pulling it as quickly. And we've seen some weird errors pop up in Facebook's reporting, even though when data's flowing through correctly and accurately. So if you're seeing weird errors, you're not sure what it is, you can use the chat support here in your ClickBank account to kind of ask what's going on. The more specific you can be, the better, 
right? I'm seeing this specific error or this type of thing. We can usually help problem solve if this is A, you just need to wait and make sure data is populating after you know 24 hours, or if there's something else going on. Like for example, last week, you know, this is all relative because it's YouTube and Evergreen, but last week Facebook made an API update, um, broke, of, broke some things for some accounts, but not all of them, and we were able to fix it within a day and make sure data was tracking fully, even though some accounts were affected. So it's a little odd based on what Facebook's doing, um, but it's pretty simple once you get the correct things set up in your Facebook accounts and your ad accounts and your business account managers, you just need to plug those section, plug those pixel IDs and the API code and your registered domain into those parts of ClickBank. And then ClickBank will be firing those events like they're coming from your registered domain. So you don't have to worry about the third party issue with the tracking. And that's it in a nutshell. I think being off to the race is way better tracking than we used to have with Facebook and ensure everything's working. Click on the link in the description below to check out the knowledge base article I was using to walk myself through it. Leave any questions in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more affiliated content every week coming out. Happy scaling.